Well, hair is shampooed after a long day in the sun. Body's lotioned. Now I get to sit on my patio and enjoy the views. Let me show you what you're going to see from my perspective. Let me sit down here. Ah, yes. And you know what happens when you travel? Yeah. You step outside your comfort zone. You stretch yourself beyond what you thought you could do when you're traveling in the unknown territories. You grow. Your confidence increases and you say, I can. You have an I can attitude. I can learn how to work the taxis. I can learn how to negotiate and bargain. And I can shop. And I can enjoy these kinds of scenes that I couldn't enjoy if I stayed behind my TV in the comfort of my living room. Hey, Roger. Wave. And there's a guy who, who four years ago said, I'll never leave Kingman. You're never going to get me out of my comfort zone. And look at Roger. So do you love travel, Roger? Huh? Do you love travel? Yes, I do. I love to travel. But four years ago, you said no way. There was no way you were going to get outside of Kingman. What happened? Five years ago. Oh, has it been five years? Yeah, it's been five years. Isn't it crazy how time flies? It is just crazy. So, so what do you think about traveling outside of Kingman? Outside your comfort zone. What do you think? Is it exciting? Oh, yeah. Do you get nervous? Uh, you get to see and meet new people that you never get to meet. Yeah. Sure, they might come to Kingman, but they're not, they're not the same. Where have you been? Went, uh, Romania, Italy, Rome, Venice. Don't forget. Alaska. You're at Belize. That's it. Ambergris K or Key. What do you think of it? It's different. Different, huh? That's a place where somebody can come and just stay every winter or summer. Yeah. Yeah. And here, this is coming from a man who said that he would never travel. And yet here he is a man of many travels under his belt. And he's a changed man. All right, very cool. Thanks for the little testimony, and that was pretty spontaneous. So, this is me enjoying my balcony, enjoying the breeze. I could go down there and jump on a hammock. Chances are, I'd fall all over the place. It'd twist me up and spit me out. I think I'd rather stay right here on my comfortable little balcony. Signing off. But I challenge you, don't just see these kinds of views from Rick Steves behind your screen, in front of your screen, or Sandra Brown. Go out and do it. Go out and choose a place you've never been, but you've always wanted to experience on your own, not through postcards, not through the TV, but all on your own. And see how things change? Let's turn this way. Enjoy. And when that day comes, when you say, hey, I'm finally ready, let's go. You know what? Give me a ring. Give me a buzz at Intoxicating Travel. Or call me, Kim Roberts, 247. Excuse me, I'm sorry. How about 240? 347. 4868, and I can put you on this balcony. Bye. Adios, amigos.